the economic freedom fighters is deeply saddened by the passing of award-winning songstress Bolelwa Mkutukana, better known by her stage name Zahara, who passed away last night after prolonged illness and hospitalization. Zahara was born in Pumlani, informal settlement, East London in Eastern Cape, and grew, grew up to embody the defi definition of roads that grew through concrete. Her music career blossomed to success after her debut album Loliwe, which went double platinum and saw her win multiple South Africa Music Award summer. Such a best newcomer of the year, best smooth urban music album of the year, female artist of the year, best selling album of the year, and album of the year in 2012. Her subsequent album, Pendula, enjoyed equal success and saw her tall momentum. 17 Summer Awards won Nigeria Entertainment Award and earned herself a press on the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, list of top 100 women. She became a global phenomenon, marked by a soulful voice and her signature guitar. For the EFF, Zahara was close to our heart at the, as she had a song of the EFF fourth jazz our album, I EFF Yangena, which became incredibly popular during the 20. 21 local government election and Zahara performed it at all the official opening of our headquarters Winnie Madik Madikizela Mandela House. Zahara must be remembered as a pioneer in the music industry who broke through in an, in an industry that often discards women and destroys the lives of those who enter it. She made her name through talent alone and a lasting memory in your heart and minds must be here ability to bring comfort and resonate with the struggles of the poorest of the poor let us know who is zahara renowned south africa afro pop sensation better known as zahara has passed away the country's cultural minister confirmed Zahara claimed for her 2011 album, Loliwe, which resonated across Africa, had been hospitalized due to liver complication, which, with government support, ex extended to her family during his challenging period, according to Minister Zizi, Kodwa of Sport, Arts and Culture. In 2019, Zahara shared her struggle with alcohol addiction, Shedding light on personal challenges last month, her family appealed to South Africa for prayer as she battled health issue. Zahara, aged 36, succumbed on Monday night in Johannesburg, Oslo, reported by the state-run Sabic News website. Following the announcement, social media has become a space for fans to grieve and share cherished memories. Minister Kodwa acknowledged Zahara profound impact on South African music, starting Zahara and her guitar made an incredible and lasting impact in South African music. Expression of admiration for Zahara music, legacy flooded ex formerly Twitter with one user notes, noting she left us with such beautiful music of her career, Zahara, who released five albums, generated numerous local and international accolades. Beyond her music achievements, she utilized her platform to address the issue of violence against women in South Africa, drawing from her personal experience. Zahara departures leave an indelible mark on the world of music as fan and fellow artists reflect on her impactful journey.